I can't wait for our senior year. Homecoming, prom, and finally graduation. The beginning of the rest of our long lives. The beginning of the rest of our long lives. But we're going to be better than last year's seniors. We don't want to be part of the driving under the influence teen stories. One was after the homecoming game. The world champion featured twirler got in the car with her boyfriend, who was already intoxicated. Why did she get in the car with him? If she had to refuse to get in the car, she'd be alive today. Probably a graduate, a wife, and even a mother. Oh, and the one about the dance team captain playing races with her boyfriend? She took her eyes off the road and went straight into a concrete embankment. If she had refused to get in that car, she'd be alive today. But remember that one that was two weeks after graduation? He was so handsome and smart. He did sports and theater. He got into a Texas university with a scholarship. He and his girlfriend were going home from watching a movie in a neighboring town. Just a couple of miles away from home. Yeah, just a couple of miles away from home. They were hit head on by a drunk driver. He was killed instantly. The girlfriend was so badly injured that it took her over a year to recover well enough to cross the graduation stage. The worst thing about it is that the driver of that car had been told by his friends to go straight home from a party. Why didn't someone just take away his keys so he wouldn't have driven home that night? We should make a pact. Pact, pact. It's our choice not to drink and drive. Not to let friends drive drunk. To make better choices. To end the streak.